What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial. I'm pretty excited because my friends at Edelkrone sent me out a motorized slider which I can create dynamic motion in my future tutorials. I have some dope videos coming with them soon, but check this out. I press play on here and now we have dynamic motion. So, what are we gonna learn today? Well, we're gonna learn a stutter shift effect. Um, it's fairly easy to do. Think of it like a way to stutter in between your clips or just a way to transition your current clips to a new location. So let's check out what this looks like and damn, that slider looks good. So that was pretty dope. I mean, it's very easy to do and I think it's gonna be awesome. Once you apply it to your clips, you're gonna really love it. Before this tutorial starts, click the link in the description down below because I'm including the sound files that are included in my Ultimate Effects Pack for free. So all you have to do is click that link and you can download the sound I used in this video. Before we jump into Premiere, please click that like button and subscribe if you're new because I found out that a lot of you guys watch my videos without subscribing. It seriously helps out the channel and allows me to make videos like this every single week. Thanks guys. All right, so now we're in Premiere Pro and these are the clips that I chose to work with. This effect works really well with orbiting shots and also just stationary tracking shots as well. I'm excited to see what kind of clips you guys use. For starters, let's look at this intro sequence and see what's happening. As you can see, the stutter, if we go frame by frame, there's some blending modes that I like to use occasionally and it looks like it just kind of stutters back and forth. And you can also use this to stutter in between the exact same clip to change the perspective. It's all pending what you do in the stutter. So I wanna show you guys how this effect works on this clip right here. It works really well on orbiting shots. So first things first, you're gonna to want to pick a point where you want your stutter to start and then hit C on your keyboard to make a cut and then you're gonna to scroll to where you want your stutter to end or the clip that you want to stutter into. So I think it's gonna look good if I stutter right here and then hit C on your keyboard and make a cut there. Now all we have to do is change the speed of this clip. So click R on your keyboard, that will bring up the rate stretch tool. So whenever we drag it, it'll change the speed as you can see right here. So let's drag this all the way to the beginning and then bring our clip all the way to the end of that stutter. So this is a one frame stutter. All it does is pretty much stutter into that next clip. It's kind of like a little speed ramp. Now, in order to create the stutter effect, let's drag our back clip out a little bit. And here's what you need to understand. When you do one frame, it will only capture one frame. So the stutter effect works good on about two to four frames. So I'm gonna hit my right arrow key, one, two, three, and I'm gonna go out three frames and I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard and drag my stutter clip out. This will just change the speed since R is selected. Now all I have to do is hit Control C and then Control V to copy that clip. I'm gonna copy it three times and drag my ending clip and see what that looks like. So instantly we're already creating a little stutter and it stutters into our clip. A nice way that you can blend these stutters together is to blend the starting and the ending stutter. When you right click on your first little transition and go to apply default transitions, you'll create a cross dissolve. But notice how it goes all the way out over here. We don't want that. So let's click on and delete it and hit C on your keyboard and make a cut that is about the same size as your first starting transition and right click and go to apply default transition. Do the same for the end and right click on that ending one and go to apply default transition. This will create a little blend mode that blends your stutter a little easier. So now we created a nice little stutter shift effect in simplest terms. So if you download those free audio files in the description down below for my ultimate effects pack, you'll get a wave and you'll also get a glitch effect. So you can drag these down into your timeline and start to modify them however you like. You can add low pass, you can pretty much do anything your little heart desires. And as always, once you create your little stutter effect, hit I at the beginning of your transition and O at the end of your transition and go to sequence render into out. This way you can play it back without any glitches. I'm gonna show you one more example on this clip right here and we're just gonna stutter into a later portion of this clip. So let's start right here, make a cut by hitting C and then make a cut over here and drag these clips right there. Zoom in and let's go out one, two, three frames this time. Hit R on our keyboard and drag that to the end. And then hit Control C, Control V, Control V. And then I'm also going to stutter into the next 
portion of the clip. So I'm gonna drag this clip forward a little bit. And what I wanna do is create another stutter. So I'm gonna stutter from this point right here, hit C on my keyboard, and again, drag this rate stretch tool Drag that to the end of the stutter. And again, we wanna make this three frames long. So hit the right arrow key, one, two, three. Click R on your keyboard to bring up the rate stretch tool. Drag that to that three frame length. And then copy this three times. Hit Control C and then Control V, Control V. So now we have a beginning stutter and then an ending stutter. And then we can bring our clip to the end of that second stutter. So now if we play back through this, it looks like this. So we just merged two stutters into one. And again, you can add your blend modes if you like to blend these clips together, or if you wanna get some interesting effects, you can let it blend out a little bit, just like so, because you can really play around with blend modes. But ultimately, that's pretty much it. So as you guys know, I give away one free version of my Ultimate Effects Pack on all my tutorials. All you have to do is click the link in the description down below. And the winner of last week's tutorial giveaway is... Valley. Congratulations, my friend. I will reach out to you and send the pack your way. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please let me know down below. Hit that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. And as always, I'll see you next time. I will be the last to fall. I won't